Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the What's New webinar. We're happy that you've joined us today. I'm honored to be joined by my friends and colleagues, Jeff Cornia, who is our senior project manager and splash pad extraordinaire, and Andy Behrens, uh, CRS vice president and manager of our product channel. I'm Ryan Hartberg. I'm the manager of CRS's project channel. Somebody wants to give me a thumbs up there. The audio sounds good. Everything's clear. We'll keep going. We're hosting this webinar today because we sincerely missed seeing all of you at trade shows this past year and, and in meetings. While we can't see you, at least we have this opportunity to share with you some advancements in the recreation industry in an effort to keep you informed so that you can keep innovating for your clients, your municipalities, and for your families. CRS's goal in 2021 is to create more smiles, and I hope that you'll join us in that goal. The first half of today's webinar will be a blitz through the CRS news and updates, as well as new product lines from our manufacturers and splash pad, uh, playground and splash pad manufacturers. The second half will be three new product offerings by CRS that we are extremely excited about, and you'll be some of the first to hear about it. Make sure to have your pen and paper handy to note anything that you, that you find interesting. We're gonna move through these things pretty quickly. So write down what's of interest and we can send you more information or schedule another time to meet one-on-one. -on -one. For those that are new to Microsoft Teams live events, if you have any questions, please click on the question mark inside the bubbles at the top of the screen. In order to respect the 30 minute time commitment, Larry Seipel from our team will be answering questions by writing in the Q&A section or for those that require a little more time, we will answer them at the end of the presentation. So Jeff, Andy, and myself will stay online as long as necessary to answer any questions. Please note there's about a 20 second delay in the live event. So if you ask a question, it might be 20 seconds down the road for us, but we'll get to it. We'll start off by going through what's new with CRS. First, CRS project channel has expanded regionally into North and South Dakota uh, in the fall of 2020. We are now representing vortex aquatic structures, play in park structures for playgrounds and shade systems, among many other product lines in all seven states, exclusively in most. In January, we hired Matt Olds. Matt will be doing his hunting in New Jersey, but is available to help on projects across uh, all of our region for all of our CS customers. He comes with 15 years of industry knowledge from the artificial turf industry. He's worked for three different manufacturers. He's an expert in cooperative purchasing, and he is knowledgeable about bid specification and, and installation. So he'll be working on becoming an all around recreation specialist for our New Jersey clients. But again, if you have any questions on turf or turf projects, let us know and Matt can help. In 2020 and now 2021, CRS is adopting some newer technology to, to be an industry leader. Obviously, we're adopting Microsoft Teams. We've been using that pretty thoroughly the last year for webinars, presentations, meetings, sharing data, project management, and more. We've also gotten more adept at uh, fly-through videos using our technology with, with our landscape architect, Brian Demink, and using drones to capture footage of projects, both during the construction phase and at completion. So this first example is a project that we did for a real estate developer in Wisconsin. This is a mix of playground equipment from play and park structures, adult fitness equipment from Action Fit, dog park equipment from Bark Park, athletic spaces and equipment, a shelter, site amenities, fencing, padding, and more. Dropped into a Google image so that we can see how the spacing and the sizing works. This really helps the customers see their vision. It's very impactful. This is an example where we were able to drop a splash pad design into an aquatic center design created by an engineering firm. Um, the project is in Minnesota. And we created the 3D model and fly through. This really helps the engineering firm and the customer see the solution and share their vision with key stakeholders and the community. Here's a drone fly through of a completed project in Wisconsin. It shows a new playground, splash pad, pavilion, shades, and shelter. This is a great for sharing and celebrating a completed project on the municipal and specifier Facebook pages and websites while also creating a historical entry in for past projects. 
CRS also recently completed a new Playground 101 presentation to rethink what you think you know about playgrounds. This will complement our CRS, Splashpad, and Shade 101 presentations. This is not just a catalog of products and projects. It's going to discuss things like what is play all about, national demonstration sites, innovations, surfacing and installation, complementary product lines that round out a great playground project, and then have some project examples. If you're interested, please contact us and we'd love to give you a Playground 101 presentation. That completes the CRS news and updates, and we'll spend some time on some of the new Play and Park offerings. While not a brand new product, this is the Denali Tower from Play and Park Structures. This is one of their first forays into the 10 and 12 foot deck heights, as you can see fully enclosed on the top deck for safety. This is a great offering for um, those that are looking for a little bit more of an extreme playground, something a little more impressive for a destination park. Comes with customizable panels, slides, and connectors. Here's an example with two Denali towers together, uh, both showing two decks per tower connected with customizable tunnels and slides. Great, again, another great uh, opportunity for a destination location. Here's a Denali tower as a part of an inclusive playground. So you can see the ramps and decks that are lower to the ground that connect to the Denali tower on the lower uh, deck, but also having a higher deck for a little more impressive play at that end of the design. Another relatively new product from Play and Park is or the Origami Tower. This is available with, that includes a two and six and foot, uh, 10 foot level decks in the tower. You can see the angular punched hole panels, the cable tunnels, and different slides coming off of it. This is customizable into a couple of different ways. This is the castle, still the Origami Tower built into a castle theme. Here's their space theme. And then lastly, a tree fort theme. Speaking of tree forts, uh, Play and Park Structures have created, a custom, have created custom panels, roofs, and bridges to create a great tree fort feel for kids. Note the glass fiber reinforced concrete, realistic looking uh, bases here. The texture they put on here and the embedded insects and animals really give the impression of a real tree. It's very sturdy in design and construction and allows, to, uh, allows us to support an eight foot deck, uh, hexagonal deck on top and great for nature playgrounds. Plain Park Structures also partnered with Meridian Cable Play Systems in 2020. CRS is, and I'm very excited about this, it's very excited about the versatility of the line for all of our market segments. Meridian uses some of the best products in the industry for strength, safety, and security while re remaining very competitively priced in the market. If you're interested, ask for a quote, you can see for yourself. Meridian connectors are individually cast from high density aluminum. They use 120 ton hydraulic press to close them. The connectors are virtually vandal resistance, be resistant because they cannot be opened. Cables are, very, are, are never left loose enough to rubber fray, and their cables are either a 20 millimeter polyester cable with a nylon core, as you can see on the right, or a 22 millimeter polyester cable with a steel core for superior strength, some of the best in the market. Here's a couple of their traditional and atraditional designs. And a lot of these are great, whether it's for a school, a municipality, a destination park, or a pocket park, really in, in the industry. They also get into the cables and ropes, climbers. This is a ninja trophy course that they produce. Speaking of ninja courses, uh, these are also becoming very popular more and more for schools and cities. Here are a couple of examples of designs that are available, though ninja courses can be as customized and as challenging as you'd like. Lastly, from, from Play and Park, we wanted to share their photo matching technology. So this is great for when we're looking to design a solution that may need to go for fundraising or for board approval. Um, somebody can go to the site, take a picture of where a playground may go 
and then they can drop a three-dimensional design into that photograph. So I'll just flip back and forth again. Here's the photograph and here's the design inside. So that's great for making a very personal feel for your municipalities or for your schools or for anybody that wants a playground. So this wraps up our playground section. I'm now gonna turn it over to Jeff Cornea, who's gonna discuss some of the innovations in aquatic and splash pad products. Thank you, Ryan. And thank you to everyone attending today's webinar. I am pleased to be able to share with you a variety of new interactive and inclusive products that Vortex has been developing. We're going to be discussing each of these briefly, so please reach out to us after the webinar for more detailed discussions. This first feature is the Cascade. The Cascade provides for a highly interactive, multi-child and inclusive experience. This is a redevelopment of an existing product. Vortex has created a new and improved look to this piece with better functionality. The new modular approach allows the feature to fit into a variety of locations and better conform to the design and shape of a splash pad or pool. This is a wonderfully inclusive feature that allows all children to play together and is highly interactive. In this river configuration, the flow of the water follows a more narrow linear path. This next configuration is more circular in nature, which provides a different type of play experience as children are closer in proximity and can more easily interact in a smaller space or footprint. Children can either be inside or outside the flow of water. This last example shows how various modules can be placed adjacent to taller features, allowing both interactive play and traditional play using, immer using immersive falling water from above. Uh, once again, pay attention to how creative the space can be designed using the new modular approach to the Cascade. The Astra is a new spin on the traditional waterfall and immersive dumping play experience. All three features have a new sleek look. The Astra number one is more static waterfall effect, while the Astra number three enables motion by simply spinning a sphere located at the center of the post. The Astra number two is based upon the newly redesigned dumping bucket and filling mechanism for better aesthetics, functionality, and longevity. The Splash Trio and Five offer a more traditional look than the Astra, but also offer that same newly redesigned uh, dumping bucket and filling mechanism for a better play experience. The Vortex Refresh offers a new sustainable play experience with the smallest misting effect ever available. The ultra low rate of 0.1 to 0.2 gallons per minute is the most sustainable feature to date. For potable water use only, up to six refresh can be combined with one hydraulic activator, which we'll introduce later in the presentation. Perfect for urban landscapes, pocket parks, or areas where gray water drainage may not be available, the refresh line can provide a cool, family-friendly experience with a misting effect that can evaporate before it ever hits the ground. The Twin Splash was developed to fill a need for a small footprint, iconic splash pad feature that better fits smaller spaces and budgets. The Twin Splash utilizes a unique shape reflector that sends the water cascading down with the dual splash effect at only nine to 15 gallons per minute. Compared to its bigger siblings, the Super Splash and Super Wave, the Twin Splash comes in at less than half the price. As we play this video, pay attention to the space surrounding the Twin Splash. As you will see, this feature was perfect to fill in a small space at one end of the splash pad. Children will love the dual splash effect as they anticipate and they wait down below. Here you'll see the splash effect happening here. It's really a great feature if you want that immersive effect in one end of a splash pad. The PlaySafe drain number four is part of a series of power coated stainless main drains by Vortex. Previous designs required the use of a polystyrene foam core that provided a plug when pouring concrete around the drain. After the concrete hardened, the foam core would have to be broken up and removed, leaving a formed concrete drain behind. The new PlaySafe drain number four provides improved filtration, lower cost, and now provides a full enclosure for evacuating the water from the splash pad. No more need for foam cores and concrete work. The Rio line of water features was specifically designed to maximize fun over lazy rivers. 
The Rio Grande spans across the Lazy River, offering an immersive effect to bathers below as water dumps down in varying or alternating sequence. The fully translucent dumping buckets offer an attractive accent and experience to any aquatic river. The waterfall, splash trio, and water curtain allow a more modular approach by allowing different types of water effects to be used at different points of the river. As part of Vortex's mission to provide more interactive experiences at a splash pad and pool, the Helico and Helico Nano were developed. Hydraulically powered, the automated motion of the spinning mast at the top of the feature emits a consistent rainfall of water over bathers while providing an elegant and majestic look. As you will see in the video, the Helico is self-spinning and it operates using hydraulic technology created by Vortex. The, the video might be a bit broken up, but hopefully you'll, you'll, you'll see this. Uh, the pressure and flow of the water through the feature causes the mass to spin and the water to spray. This creates a very visually appealing and highly interactive space. So the Luma Flow is Vortex combined ground spray and color changing LED light. The single stainless enclosure incorporates the ground spray in the center surrounded by red, green, blue LED lights. The placement of the LED lighting around the water effect provides the best and brightest illumination of the water. This example shows how the splash pad can be used during the day and also can be programmed as a playable fountain. A playable fountain uses timed sequences with water, allowing children to play games by chasing, weaving, and avoiding the water streams. Here you can see how immersive uh, the nighttime configuration is and how the plaza comes to life. In this next video, pay attention to how the playable fountain technology is used to vary the water timing and lighting so the children can interact with other children, the water itself, as well as play games. You will also see Vortex's digital water curtain technology in the background. This is called the watermark, combining the LumaFlow water feature, the playable fountain technology, and the watermark brings a whole new experience to users looking for something new and exciting at their splash pad. So Pocket Parks by Vortex is a new technology allowing for small urban spaces to be transformed into inviting, refreshing, and sustainable water attractions. Because of the low flow nature of a pocket park, they're primarily designed to be used in either urban parks and settings or small public spaces. At the core of the pocket park concept is a hydraulic activator. This activator uses a one and a half inch potable water supply and can output up to three one inch water lines to a variety of features. The technology inside this activator allows for water control without electricity or a splash pad controller. User activated, the hydraulic system can be set to turn on the water anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes in length. So here's an example of a small urban space transformed into an inviting water attraction. Here we have a single hydraulic activator in combination with two vortex bamboo rain features. With no need for electricity, these pocket parks can be set in place just about anywhere. Here's an example and a view inside the activator. This shows the valve included to control the flow and timing of the water after activation. Users simply press down on the activator to start the sequence. The bollard post itself is available in either a variety of powder coat colors or a polished stainless finish. So here is a small pocket park concept that is only a thousand square feet in total size. That is both the wet area in the center and the dry area around the space. This design utilizes a series of vortex umbrella water features with a low flow waterfall effect. The translucent polymer dome on top of the umbrella feature, it casts a colored shadow onto the concrete below as the sun shines through it. This is a perfect configuration for a small inviting space. This next example shows the vortex refresh line that we spoke of earlier in conjunction with the hydraulic activator. This combination allows for a refreshing space that needs no electricity and no main drain because of the low ultra low, excuse me, GPM rate of the refresh line of products. The water simply just evaporates before saturating the surface below. 
The takeaway here is that no matter what size space available or the challenges involved with transforming that space, we have a variety of solutions to fit your needs. So this concludes my introduction to new products and new technology by Vortex. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing. And with that, I'd like to introduce you to Andy Behrens. Andy will be discussing disinfection and protection for recreational spaces. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Although you guys wedged me in, in between two exciting presentations, um, I'll still take the slot. Uh, so bear with me. It's very topical, uh, but right at the end of it, you'll, you'll get back to some excitement with Ryan. Anyway, again, I'm Andy, and we're here to uh, talk about uh, how to deliver good, clean fun this summer. It's about keeping visitors safe, staff safe, and parks open with Concrobium and Playtech, both of which I'll get into in just a minute. First, disinfecting. CDC's list N, as you may or may not know, has over 500 disinfectants on it. So options abound for disinfecting. Some household names, some more obscure. But a big question that comes up for us is, are they safe for the eyes, for inhalation, for ingestion, for the skin? What is it doing to staff and visitors alike? And you can find out. Fire up good old Google and do a search for safety data sheets or technical data sheets. Uh, Concrobium is rated at a toxicity level of four. Again, that's the best rating that the EPA even gives out. So it's safe across the board. And the good thing about this is that it works. Uh, excuse me, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, it's safe so you get peace of mind that you don't have to use PPE. Uh, it's, it's based in uh, time. It's made from time, so it's botanically derived, which is why it's so safe. Uh, you can use it on food facilities. It's not flammable, not, flammable, not corrosive. No ammonia dyes, chlorines, or glutaraldehydes. So it's safe, but it also works uh, because it is on CDC's list N. There's the, the EPA registration number right there. You can check it out. Safe and effective for use to kill SARS-CoV-2. Where can you use it? Well, it's, it's really safe. So use it on splash pads, playgrounds, really anywhere. See the school bus there. It can be used in schools. It can be used at hospitals, nursing homes. Again, very, very safe. A short video then on Concrobium. My name's Troy Olson. I own the 1029 Bar Smack Shack Restaurant in Northeast Minneapolis, Minnesota. It is very important for me to find a product like Concrobium because if I keep this place safe, we can stay open. 1029 Bar has been here since 1892. We're known for our great food, our karaoke. I ended up with Concrobium through a buddy of mine. It's plant-based. It is food safe also. We do our normal cleaning every night and then we spray with Concrobium. You can spray the bathrooms, the floors, ceilings, chairs, pretty much the whole bar. There is no residue, no lingering odors. You don't have to do anything once you're done. Put away your sprayer and go home. I would recommend Concrobium 100%. We wanna get through this, you should be doing this. He's right, we certainly want to get through this. So that's the safe and effective concrobium used to disinfect. Now on to protecting in our one-two punch. Uh, Playtech provides an uninterrupted protection against bacteria, viruses, molds, mildew, yeasts, and algae. So you can save time and money. You spray it on, bog it on, or wipe it on. It lasts about up to 90 days. I would say in the high traffic areas, like say in a public restroom, maybe on the counter, uh, you could probably reapply after about 60 days, but it can last up to 90. A little bit more here on Playtech. Playtech is the first antimicrobial solutions company created by recreation specialists for the recreation and institutional marketplace. Combining over 60 years industry experience with patented biochemists to create effective, safe, affordable solutions to catastrophic contamination issues. Playtech products are water-based solutions providing constant and uninterrupted protection against germs, bacteria, viruses, and other harmful antigens. Playtech's technology provides an antimicrobial coating that can be easily and safely applied to both porous and non-porous surfaces. When applied, Playtex products form a molecular bond with material's substrate, creating a microbiostatic antimicrobial nanoshield, which destroys existing organisms while forming a barrier against intruding organisms. Negatively charged pathogens are then attracted and upon contact are ruptured, causing the microorganism to die. Safe, non-toxic, and easy to apply. Just spray, mist, fog, or wipe onto any surface. 
No rinse or further action is required, even for food surface contact. Protection begins in as soon as 60 seconds and remains effective up to 90 days. To find out more about how Playtech can help, just email us at info at playtechsolutions.com. Okay, and just like Concrobium, Playtech is very safe. So here you can see we can use it. You can use it anywhere. It's very safe. It's an inert chemical. So that's it. That's delivering good, clean, fun this this summer. It's our one-two punch against the, the the very topical virus, of course, that, that everybody <clears throat> is battling these days. But beyond that, Playtech itself can offer a lot of value in battling against mold and algae, bacteria, yeasts, etc. That's the one-two punch. Have a great 2021, everyone. Thanks, Andy. We just wanted to wrap up with uh, disc golf courses. So uh, in 2021, CRS is now offering disc golf course design and build services. Uh, if you don't know, disc golf is one of the fastest growing sports in the U.S. It has, there are over 7,000 registered golf courses in the U.S. with about four to 500 new every single year over the last few years. This is an ideal activity for pandemics, uh, unfortunately, um, but it's uh, outside, it's socially distanced. Uh, you have individual equipment. It's also ideal for municipalities because it promotes exercise, it's multi-generational, and the city can use previously under or unutilized land. So we can help you design courses from a small par three or practice course to a full length nine or 18 hole large championship level course. So courses of all lengths and ability levels. Our services also include site visits, design capabilities, targets, tees, signage, and amenity procurement, as well as land clearing and installation services. Everything that you would need to build your course. We've done this by partnering with some of the best in the industry. Uh, Mike Harrington has a 27 year career in as a landscape management professional, working with landscape companies and golf courses. Over the last 12 years, uh, Mike has gotten into disc golf. He likes, he loves to promote uh, safer and more sustainable disc golf courses through proper design, construction and maintenance leaning on his years uh, in that industry. Um, one of Mike's claims to fame is that he's played over 1,200 disc golf courses in over 35 states in the last 12 years. He'll be one of our designers. Uh, Patrick Blake has also, um, is, is a disc golf professional and a member of the PDGA for the last 16 years. During his pro career, Mike has, uh, Pat has designed and installed over 10 courses. Most notably is his 18 hole course at the Wilderness Campground in Montello, Wisconsin. He also uh, boasts one of the best school courses in, in the state of Wisconsin at Zobel Memorial Park in Green Lake. Both of his courses are ranked in the top 10 in Wisconsin and the Wilderness course at the Wilderness Resort near the Wisconsin Dells was ranked in the top 50, number 31 in the world's best disc golf courses in January of 2020 by udisc.com. Pat knows and understands the challenges and nuances of disc golf as a player and as a designer, and he can deliver premium products, whether it be for the championship level course or for a recreational design. Lastly, we've partnered with Innova Disc Golf. Innova is the number one disc and target selling company in the United States. We've partnered with Innova to be their exclusive distributor for their Ace Place product, which is a small par three entry level course into the camp and campground markets. With this relationship, CRS will be able to learn, lean on their expertise, their designers, products, and national ambassador network. So if, if this is something of interest to you and uh, adding to your community or to your client's community, please reach out and we can give you more information on disc golf and disc golf design. Here we go. I think we did it in about 30 minutes. Thanks for sticking with us. Um, really appreciate you being on with us. I hope this was helpful. We'd love any feedback you're willing to provide. Um, as I mentioned, we will stick on. Jeff, myself, and Andy will stick on for as long as need be. If you have any questions, please type them in. Um, otherwise, we'll be in touch with a follow-up uh, survey and just connecting with you on any questions you might have and schedule those separately. So thanks again, and we'll just hang out for a little bit and, uh, and help with any questions.